tell you that I love you. What's up guys welcome to Apex thanks for tuning in some of you guys have been asking me to do a review of One UI 4.0 on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus the Exynos variant that I have here so here is a quick review of One UI 4.0 on Galaxy Note 10 Plus now in this video I'm not going to do a typical review of this OS because I've already done a bunch of videos on all the features of One UI 4.0 on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra if you have missed it or if you want to know about any of these features, I will leave the links for all these videos in the description. You can go ahead and check them out. I have also left a link for the playlist of all the features of One UI 4.0. So in this video, what we are going to do is we are going to answer a few questions such as how good is the One UI 4.0 on the device, whether you should upgrade it, how is the battery performance, is there any kind of lags or anything. Those are the questions that I'm going to answer in this video. Before we go ahead, if you're new on the channel, make sure to subscribe and be a part of Apex community. I definitely want to take this channel to the next level. So do support me by subscribing to the channel and leave a like for this video. The like target is about 500 for this video. So make sure to smash that like button. That will encourage me a lot to come up with some cool contents for you guys. All right, now coming to the device, the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, the all new iteration of One UI has been doing really good. I'm not facing any kind of issues on this device right now. I don't see any frame drops or lags or stutters while using the phone. There is no app crashes as such. And as far as the battery life is concerned, it is doing really well. I did share the battery test results a day ago. If you have missed that video, you can go ahead and check that out. That was the real life battery test results. Uh, in two different settings one was on the enhanced processing mode where the wqhd was turned on i got about eight plus hours of screen on time and on the power saving mode i got about 10 plus hours of screen on time on full hd display so the battery life has actually improved compared to one ui 3.1 now as far as the animations are concerned it looked pretty good it is much better than the One UI 3.1's animations. When you look at One UI 3.1 and 4.0's animations, we actually can't make out much of a difference. But when you start using One UI 4.0 on the phone, we can actually experience the difference in animation as well as the usability. Uh, it is quick to respond. It is fluid and very smooth. So the overall animations and transition effects are pretty good on One UI 4.0. Now, as far as the gaming is concerned, I did not find any kind of issues here as well. The heat was well contained. I played Call of Duty at max graphics settings and I did not find any issues while playing the game. Now, this is the Geekbench 5 results here on the screen. If you haven't upgraded it to One UI 4.0, you can check the results on your device and compare it to the one which you're seeing on the screen. All right, now if you want to know whether we have got all the features from One UI 4.0 on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, uh, no, we haven't got. There are a few features which are still missing, such as no dual recording mode on the camera, uh, no extra dim feature, uh, no Google Discover, and there are a couple of more features which are still not available on the Note 10 Plus. Uh, I did make a separate video on this. If you have missed it, I will link it in the description. You can go ahead and check that as well. Now, as far as the camera is concerned, uh, the image quality and the video quality are uh, almost the same. I mean, I don't see any differences there when compared to One UI 3.1. The camera is doing really well and there has not been any issue whatsoever in the camera department as well. All right, then this was a quick review of One UI 4.0 on Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus Exynos variant. This was not a feature review of One UI 4.0. The purpose here is to let you know guys that you can go ahead and upgrade your device from One UI 3.1 to One UI 4.0 without having any confusions or apprehensions in mind. One UI 4.0 is definitely the best we have got so far on the Note 10 Plus. I am sure there will be some of the users who would be facing some issues or the other but that is common when you get an all new operating system on the device. Maybe 1% or 2% of the devices would face some issues but that will be fixed by Samsung. If you have any issues, make sure you inform Samsung or connect with their customer support team and let them know about the issue that you are facing so that you can get some solutions for those issues. Anyways, that's all I want to share with you guys. Do let me know your thoughts about One UI 4.0 on your Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and make sure to smash that like button as well. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.